Welcome back to our CNC tutorial series. Today we're discussing G40, G41, and G42, three important G codes that manage cutter compensation. Let's get started. Before we dive into the G codes, let's understand what cutter compensation is. Every CNC tool has a diameter, and this influences where the actual cut occurs relative to the path the tool follows. Without cutter compensation, you need to calculate this offset manually when programming, which can be time-consuming and error-prone. With cutter compensation, the CNC machine takes care of these calculations, saving time and reducing errors. Now, on to the G-codes. G40 is used to cancel any cutter compensation in effect. G41 is used to start cutter compensation to the left of the programmed path and G42 starts cutter compensation to the right. Let's consider an example. Suppose you're cutting a part out of a larger material. In this case, you may want the cutter to stay to the left of your programmed path, so you'd use G41. However, when cutting out the hole, you may want the cutter to stay to the right of your programmed path. In this case, you'd use G42. In practice, cutter compensation is usually initiated on a line before an arc or straight line where it will be used and then cancelled after. For example, G42X10Y10 would start cutter compensation to the right and move the tool to coordinates X10Y10. Remember, cutter compensation only shifts the location of the tool along the X and Y axes. It doesn't affect the Z axis or depth of cut. Understanding how to use G40, G41, and G42 will give you greater control over your CNC machine, helping to enhance the precision of your work and save you valuable programming time. That concludes our exploration of G40, G41, and G42. In our next episode, we'll continue our journey through the world of G-codes. Until then, happy machining!